sit upright and fasten your seat belts. We start with a plea, a plea to the man, to the woman, to the child, to the six billion, to the people, to the world. We are not here to make you realize that you are another guy in the crowd, another brick in the wall, another member of the straight packed queue of men on the bridge atop the river. No, we want you to digest and imbibe the fact that you, yes you, are the single growing crop in the famine struck land. You are the single impulse of knowledge for the paralyzed brain. You are the glass of water for the lonely traveler in the desert. You are the center, the protagonist of every film and every book. You are unique and you are special. A single piece of organism that is the beginning of an episode and the end of history. You are sound for the deaf and light for the blind. You are the truest form of happiness and sorrow and regret. You, every molecule of you is a phenomenon, a miracle that needs to be cherished. You are an individual. This is not make-believe, this is reality. You are losing every bit of it. One step at a time, one mistake at a time, one teardrop at a time, one second at a time. Three days ago, I saw a guy in a yellow shirt, walking in a crowd of people. They're wearing red, black, orange and brown shirts. His legs hurt as they were tired. His eyes watered because of the sun. His mind fatigued. His hands sweat and so did his brain. He didn't want to be with them. He was tired of living his life in ways he didn't want to live it. Tired of the pretense. Tired of waking up every morning wishing to be someone else. <coughs> a joke which is funnier than his friends. Tired of trying to be as popular as the guy next door. He was tired of it all. Like safety pins, the safest thing around. Clinging to dear magnet for dear life. Same colored, same shaped, safety pins. Like birds of a feather. He was tired. His mind was heavy. He had to stop it all. At that single point of time, yes, at that time, a wave of coldness so powerful swept across my insides that I thought I was dead already. The cold of anger and rage filled me with such non-mercy that my hands trembled and shook, ready to commit the most gruesome murders and the most obscene blasphemies. I spat on the ground. And with that, I spat at the concept of freedom and society. I wanted to run across the street naked and raise the Indian flag and do anything that would make and justify freedom. Do anything to make my people realize that they were not birds of a feather or rats in the gutter. But they were people who were free in the mind and had the ability to conquer the world. Make believe is not reality. And then I realized that the only loss that exists here is the loss of naturalness. That with every step in the sand, my folks are losing themselves and becoming what they are not. That how pretense and only pretense is the backbone of society's fundamentals. And how you are the mob. And then it happened. The revolution. The uprising. The rebellion. History stood silent and watched as the guy in the yellow shirt broke up from the mob and stood dead in his tracks. And then he realized that he was not the only one wearing yellow in the crowd. And when the crowd moved on, the truth came again. And this time he realized that now in this crowd, this crowd of which he was the only and 
every member contained only one fragment of human kind that wore a yellow shirt that he was an individual and he was proud to be one a free bird of these free skies a virgin clean pure piece of white pure me and that my dear friends was human mankind's greatest achievement So it began the search for freedom the search for green pastures just a creation of the mind and his mind was everywhere and nowhere